Good afternoon, this is Laura Fox, and today I'll be describing methanol poisonings associated with contaminated hand sanitizer products. Over the summer, did you happen to see headlines talking about hand sanitizer recalls? This topic reached many national news agencies and newspapers around the summer months. In June, with the rise of the COVID-19 pandemic and the increased use and demand of hand sanitizer products, FDA saw an increase in hand sanitizer products that were labeled to contain ethanol, also known as ethyl alcohol, but tested positive for methanol contamination. The FDA tested hand sanitizer products imported from a company in Mexico and found that they contained 28 to 81 percent methanol. In the coming weeks, FDA issued a series of news releases on the ever-expanding list of contaminated hand sanitizer products. State officials also reported recent adverse events from adults and children ingesting hand sanitizer products contaminated with methanol, including blindness, hospitalizations, and death. Arizona Department of Health Services, Arizona Poison Control Centers, and healthcare facilities worked together to gather information and report cases to track adverse health events in the state since the initial June 19th recall. Methanol is not an acceptable ingredient for hand sanitizers and should not be used due to its toxic effects. Methanol is a non-drinking type of alcohol, also known as wood alcohol. It's a colorless liquid that's volatile, flammable, and poisonous for human consumption. Roughly 45% of the world's methanol is used in energy-related applications, such as vehicle or marine fuel for boats. It's also used as antifreeze for windshield wiper fluid and injected into natural gas pipelines and used in industrial solvents to make dyes, resins, inks, and adhesives. Small amounts of methanol occur naturally in many living organisms as part of their metabolic processes. For example, methanol occurs naturally in many fruits and vegetables. Substantial methanol exposure can result in nausea, vomiting, blurred vision, permanent blindness, seizures, coma, kidney failure, permanent damage to the nervous system, and death. Symptoms can appear in a few hours or sooner. Young children who can accidentally ingest these contaminated products or adolescents and adults who drink these products as an alcohol substitute are most at risk. With knowledge of the potential for these adverse health events, we needed to assess the burden of methanol poisonings in Arizona through surveillance data. The Arizona Department of Health Services was notified by Arizona Poison Control Centers of an increase in methanol poisonings associated with hand sanitizer products in June. From June 1st through mid-October, 62 people called in to report methanol poisonings. Of those, about 46% were dermal exposures and 50% were ingestional exposures. 56% when reported were in or at a healthcare facility, and 8% or five cases died from this exposure. Unfortunately, this may be an undercount since the outcome of the exposure may not be known at the time when the report was made. Looking at the bigger picture, hand sanitizer calls increased by 62% from 153 calls in 2019 to 405 calls in 2020. The majority of hand sanitizer calls were from ingestion, above 80% both years. Noticeably different is the percent in or referred to a healthcare facility, which increased from 12 to 35%. To look at this data over time, here is an epi curve displaying 2019 versus 2020 daily hand sanitizer related calls to the Arizona Poison Control Centers. The orange line displays 2019 data and tw the blue line displays 2020 data. 2020 saw more hand sanitizer related calls compared to 2019 in this graph. And to look at this more clearly, 
looking at the cumulative totals during the same time period of June 1st through October 14th of both years, 2020 has clearly received a marked increase in call volume associated with hand sanitizer calls to poison control centers compared to 2019. The last epi curve displays methanol poisonings indicated in blue and other hand sanitizer exposures indicated in orange from June 1st through October 14th. Methanol-based hand sanitizer calls had peaks from mid-July through mid-August, and most recently, one call reported in the first week of October. Methanol-associated hand sanitizer calls slowed down in August, but the amount of hand sanitizer calls remains an issue. Indicated by green arrows here, the FDA recall and expended recalls were issued on June 19th, July 2nd, July 27th, August 8th, and August 27th. In 2019, there were no calls placed during the same time period related to methanol-based hand sanitizers. Arizona hospitals report chief complaint data to the state, which allows us to look at hospital data in near real time to help detect outbreaks called syndromic surveillance. We used syndromic surveillance to compare methanol poisonings reported to the poison control centers to those seen in Arizona hospitals in the same time frame. This data was more sparse than poison control data. However, we did see several cases from June through early September associated with methanol poisoning. Compared to 2019, there were no cases of methanol poisoning captured in the same time period. In response to this ongoing issue, FDA has, like I said, issued a series of hand sanitizer recalls containing methanol or 1-propanol, guidelines on testing for methanol contamination, and continues to add to the list of recalled hand sanitizer products. Checking on October 15th drew up a list of over 200 products. There is also an import ban in place for these products with country of origin listed as Turkey, China, Mexico, and Guatemala. A recent recall outlines hand sanitizer products that have been packaged as food or drink containers, not containing methanol. To quote from the FDA release, in one recent example of consumer confusion, the FDA received a report that a consumer purchased, purchased a bottle they thought to be drinking water, but was in fact hand sanitizer. The agency also received a report from a retailer about a hand sanitizer product marketed with cartoons for children that was in a pouch that resembles a snack. Drinking only a small amount of hand sanitizer is potentially lethal to a young child who may be attracted to the pleasant smell or brightly colored bottle of hand sanitizer. In response to the FDA recalls, ADHS has worked to develop messaging on the ADHS COVID-19 website on the proper use of hand sanitizer products and ask consumers to check their hand sanitizer products against the FDA recalled list. ADHS and Banner Health colleagues, in addition to other state and national partners, published an article in the MMWR, or Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report, citing the increase in the number of methanol poisonings in our state. Of 15 New Mexico and Arizona residents in May and June who swallowed hand sanitizer containing methanol, four people died, three were discharged with vision loss, four remained hospitalized, and four were discharged with no complications. This data corroborates the increase in poison control calls over this summer. The Arizona Poison and Drug Information Center also developed an infographic explaining the dramatic increase in hospitalizations due to people drinking contaminated hand sanitizer and what to do if they did. ADHS has also used social media to reach the public about these contaminated hand sanitizer products. We had to delicately balance the message to continue to use appropriate hand sanitizer products, but also remain vigilant and safe using these products. We continue to monitor this situation with poison control centers and within syndromic surveillance. And that wraps this up. So thank you for listening and your time today.